Hello YouTube, this is Pandora, I know I'm new to YouTube uh, scene, and I'd like to start doing DIYs along with my primary, which is um, of, well, vlogging entries called We Are Community. And tonight is more of an introduction night for me, and me to you. And hopefully you to me and um through the course of me vlogging i will but well you'll know more about me as time goes on and please forgive me i am a little bit nervous because i haven't really vlogged before especially for youtube so please pardon my nervousness anyway Tonight, I'm going to kind of show you my area that I put together for the most part and uh, tell you about some of the stuff that I put together. And hopefully, when if you buy some of the stuff, it, this will help you. Anyway, welcome to my area. So, I do live in a condo that does have a basement. And it does have pretty nice uh, brick walls and it does have some um, drywall up, which is actually very good for me. Um, so, some, well, one of the cool things that a few people actually like about uh, down here is that the lights are by Monster. And you can get them online or um, through Walmart in the electronics section. Uh, my significant other got me the lights uh, like about a year ago or so for a Christmas present. And I actually like them because, watch. Pretty cool. Um, you can dim them. Even though on here it actually looks like they're pretty bright. There they go. Um, and that's as bright as it gets. And again, they do look brighter on the camera than they do in real life and I have these strings which is two on the same remote and on a different remote which is right over here so I can turn these off with that remote or I can just have them on and I think it actually lightens up the room a little bit and they are LEDs <clears throat> And I do have a total of four light bulbs and two strands going on. And you can uh, plug the power into your computer or have a USB port. Luckily enough, my little lamp over here has a little USB port already in it. So I can plug one into that and one into my computer. So that's a little, whoopsie little helpful thing right there. Um, the walls I did paint myself. Um, you can tell that I put more attention into the, uh, the, um, oh jeez. What do you call them? Drywall walls. And then I did the brick walls because I wanted something different for the brick wall instead of having the mundane average and stuff and I did paint them myself I know it's a little near nah, here and there but I like them I mean it's 
Kind of like one of those retro hit things, I guess. Anyway, um, now this little section right here, eh, could be a little bit better and stuff, but it's supposed to be an equality sign, but the shades are kind of close together a little bit, unless you really look at it and stuff. Um, yeah, two different shades. And I did get the paint at Walmart. And the paint's actually, in my opinion, very, very good. And it's very velvety and soft. Well, soft as in gentle, anyway. And this is a, a Velcro um, sticky pad or whatever that I got at Walmart right here. The other side of it that sticks to these are on the other side my remote that controls my lights. Same thing for this. Uh, this way, uh, if I want to turn my little heater on, which is next to my desk, or whatever, there I go. And the covers I got off of Walmart.com and off of Walmart. And all my uh, switches, outlets, slash plugs or whatever you want to call them have basically the same thing. The only one that I had problem with was the one closest or underneath the TV. Uh, because that's more of an open face, I had to get a light switch one that screws on both top and bottom instead of just in the center. Which was kind of stupid, but hey, it works. Anyway, um, sorry, also straightening up a little bit here. Um, yeah, been busy for the past couple few days, so I haven't had much chance to really straighten up my area, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have worked on this guitar a little bit and stuff. I was working on a different guitar than this one because this is a Rogue Rocketeer. Very awesome guitar in my opinion. Um, until a slight mishap happened with that one. So I had to buy this one and try to transfer a lot of my stuff over to this one. And here soon I'm going to be having somebody uh, finish, finish the work. I'm going to be having this down here replace with a uh, Floyd Rose, but these uh, pickups were aftermarket pickups and I like them very much. The covers I had to also buy myself and let's see, oh this little uh, string bar from the Floyd Rose kit, very awesome. and. The th Things I did myself on this guitar, besides the Floyd Rose bar right there, is the uh, the tuning pegs, which I love so far. Love, love, love. Um, and I did put uh, these wall mounts for guitars on the walls themselves. Kind of easy uh, to do and stuff. Just make sure that you're pretty careful a little bit and use a drill bit and stuff even though the plastic inserts that go into the wall for the screws say oh you can just screw me right on in use a drill bit it's tons easier um, um here's another guitar that I kind of worked on I put the uh, fingers on the fretboards because it came with nothing and the guitar pick, which I love the guitar pick, by the way. And let's see. Um, <clears throat> but everything, a lot of stuff down here, I either got in person or online. Recently, a lot of this stuff came from online. The couches are from Walmart.com. Well, I got off of Wal through Walmart.com. Um, 
They are Serta Futons. Very comfy. When you first get them, they're kind of really stiff. But uh, with a little bit of wear and stuff, like breaking them in, they become nice and softish. So, and they do lay down flat, just like this one. It's not broken, I promise you, but I want a kind of a sectional look. So, and I'm pretty sure some of you can actually see that. Um, they're pretty much easy-ish to put together. The back legs on these, right there, they screw, just screw in. You just take your hand and screw them in. The front legs, um, you have to get like, it comes with a hex screw. The front legs, and for the front legs and stuff, comes with four and a hex wrench or whatever. I don't know what the official term is. But, um, it, I just suggest for part of it, use a power tool. You know, other two screws, use the hex wrench. Um, let's see. This TV table, uh, yeah, TV table. When it came to me, because I got it from, I believe, Walmart.com, but I'm not 100% sure on that, because it was a while ago. Um, it was, and it came in a box, basically in a puzzle. And so if you love puzzles, go ahead. It took me about an hour and a half, two hours just to put it together, maybe two and a half and stuff, just to put it together for a little TV stand table thing. Kind of silly if you ask me. <laughs> um, the, e the easiest thing down here that was put together was my little stand things over here and stuff. Is No screwing together, nothing. Um, yes, I am a gun owner. And stuff it is a little junky to you at the moment. Please excuse that. Um, but no screwing. Easy to put together. Um, yeah. You can get the little one and the big one at a lot of retailers like um, Walmart. Um, um, Rural King, um, Home Depot, places like that. Um, I'm not sure if there's a lot of other places. Maybe Ace Hardware once in a great while, but other than that, not really. Um... <clears throat> At least, not to my knowledge. Um, because they come with little plastic, uh, doodads or whatever. Um, you have to make sure that you're put them on the right way. That way, they can, number one, stay on the poles. And number two, when you put them on, put it, and put the shells on. Put the shells on nice and gently first. Push down, and then I use a hammer to lock it down. And stuff. And... They hold quite a bit and stuff. <clears throat> um, let's see. My um, computer stand. I promise this will be the last th thing that I talk about down here. It was pretty easy-ish to put together. The only advice I have to give, because I got this off of eBay, and I love it and stuff, um, is... Uh, you can put it together for the most part, but don't tighten anything down. Make sure it's kind of nice loosey-goosey. That way you can put the glass in, screw those down, and then tighten everything together. Or else you're going to be wondering, why isn't this glass going all the way down and having to loosen everything up and then tighten everything back down? Trust me. Leave it loosey-goosey for a while. And I did... And the LED light strip is 
adhesive on one side. So the only one that I'm having problems with is this one that goes around here uh, because that one end over there at, on the uh, upper right hand corner keeps wanting to kind of like go eh, off and all. I'm going to have to super glue or glue it or something. But uh, it's not too bad and stuff. It adds more light to the area. Um, but anything that you have questions about so far um, or ideas for, well not ideas but suggestions to help other people not let me know and stuff um but yeah the tv stand very easy to put together you don't have to worry about leaving anything loosey-goosey or whatever all you have to do is put together and that's mo mostly a uh i wish i'd known to use my uh my um, significant other's power tools instead of trying to do it with the t toolkit that I came with. Um, other than that, yeah, very easy, very straightforward. I like it. It looks elegant with all the black and pink and all that. Black and white goes together with a lot of different colors. Um, oh, I did get this coffee table off of eBay. Um, it is a hinge one. I'm not really wanting to do the hinge right now, but um, I wish there was a was an easier way that I could have possibly put together. But um, yeah, everything was easy up until part of putting the lid on and stuff. That part uh, was kind of difficult because of the um, the angle and I couldn't exactly get my uh, power tool, well my significant other's power tool, in there the right way. I wish I could have left the top off and known to leave the top off. Put the um, put the hardware on first and then put the top on but uh, but hopefully that suggestion does help you too um yeah I'll go more into depth with a lot of stuff I guess if you really want and well if you want to but for now this is more of an introduction slight DIY helpful tips. So again, this is Pandora. Have a beautiful day.